Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to create a part that changes color on touch. So I'm in an empty base plate right now. We're gonna create a part and I'm gonna rename it to, let's say color part, um, just so we know what part we're uh, working with here. So in server script service, I'm gonna create an object and it's gonna be a script. And inside I'm gonna delete everything that's there. And I'm gonna create a variable called color part. I wanna make it equal to the part we created. So that's workspace.color part. First, we're gonna create the function um, that we want to run when the part is touched. So we're gonna say function on touch. And now we gotta put inside what we want it to do when it is touched. What we want it to do is change color. So we're gonna take our color part uh, variable that we created. We're gonna say color part dot brick color equals brick color dot random. And so brick color dot random will uh, generate a random brick color. So then when we touch it, it will just change the brick to a random color. Now all we have to do is color part dot touched, which fires when the part is well touched, which is perfect because that's exactly what we want. And we're gonna connect that to our new function that we created. So we just um, put in the name, it, mine is called on touch. It can be anything, it can be whatever you want. Just make sure it's the same thing inside here. And so now if we go play the game, we should see that our part is actually already a different color than it was. It was actually gray before, but whenever we touch it, it changes color, which is awesome. Exactly what we were looking for. Now an issue that you might have noticed is the fact that it was a different color when we uh, loaded up the game. Block wasn't anchored, so it touched the ground. You might not want it to change color when the ground touches it or another block touches it. What if we want it to only change color when a Roblox character runs over it? Well, we can actually do a check. We're gonna create a new function called uh, has humanoid. And let's just take a parameter called character. We'll just assume that we receive the character from here. And this parameter is gonna be equal to our character. So we're just gonna to try to see if the character we receive has a humanoid. So to do this, we'll create a new variable, local variable called humanoid. We're gonna set it equal to character find first, whoops, find first child of class humanoid and basically this is going to look inside the character and find the first child that is a class humanoid and if it does find it then humanoid will be equal to that object that we find and if it can't find it humanoid will be equal to nil so basically we're just going to return the humanoid that we find now with our onTouch function, there's actually a parameter that's passed to our function and it's called, well, I'll call it hit, but basically it's whatever touched the part. So in the case, if our leg hits it, hit will be equal to the leg part of our character. So it's not equal to our character model because that's the whole character as a whole, but this is just inside the model. So to get our character, it's actually gonna be hit.parent because the parent of a leg on a Roblox, Robloxian character would be the character model. And that's what we want here. And so then we're gonna actually do, uh, cut this. So I'm gonna control X so we can paste it later. And we're gonna do an if statement. So we're gonna do if has humanoid character, then, and then I wanna paste what we just cut. And now with our untouch function, it's going to say, if our character has a humanoid, then we will run this. So the base plate or any other block that touches this block probably doesn't have a humanoid. So it won't change the color of the block. Only characters usually have a humanoid inside. So now if we go and play, we will see that it has not changed color um, touching the ground. And when we run over it, it still does change color. So YouTube, that is how you make a color changing block. I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial. More videos to come. Subscribe, uh, bye.